Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to curve the edges of a surface by applying radius fillet in 3dx max. Now this can be achieved through two different methods. The latter method can also be used to bring depth at the edge of a surface. The first method is the easy one. For this example, I'm going to show by using a box. So first we draw a box. The next step is to convert this box into an editable poly. For that, just right click on the surface and this menu appears. At the bottom, there's a convert to option. Hover over that option and just click convert to editable poly. And it's done. Then right click on your surface again to display the menu and this time select swift loop. When you select it, this is how it works. However, it, there is a possibility that this option might not display in your menu. And for that, we go to the top here. Click on Customize. Customize U Interface. And this dialog box appears. Now, within this dialog box, we go to Quads. Let it load. And under the category, make sure that it's all commands. And then in this action menu, you just find out your swift blue option and it would be somewhere around here just a tad below there we go swift loop and then we hover over this and select click this and just drag your swift looped option here. But since I already have that, I won't be doing it. It's right here. Save. Then your swift loop option must appear here. We select the swift loop option and go back to creating loops in our surface. Mm. Yep. One here. Another one right here. But as you can see, the loops after making them, they're not being displayed in my model. And it might be the case for you too. For that, we need to go to default shading up here and add edged faces. And now you can see the loops after they're being made. After making your loops, we go to this little arrow right beside the editable poly. Click on it. And then we select the edge level. The toolbar above changes. In this, go to the loops option and then from the drop down menu, select loop tools. And then we select the edge or edges around which we want movement or curvature. So I'm selecting this edge and since we created loop, I have to select the entire thing a couple more times and the edge is selected. I'm going to add just one more loop right here. There we go. Select the edge that I want movement to be around. I selected these three because we created a couple more loops dividing the edges. Now, if you want the distance wider or shorter you want to change this while you write here by increasing or decreasing this value we can move the surrounding edges closer or further apart for this i'm going to have it further apart and see what changes it does and this is how you can get a variable radius fillet it would be more evident when you apply turbo smooth so we go to turbo smooth and you can see this difference between this edge and the one right here